Hello, I'm the Programming Dunce, and in this video, I will continue the MFC series and introduce our own dialogues. In the previous video, we employed a pre-built dialog that allows us to pick a color. However, what if we wanted to create our own? We can do that by going over to the resource view and requesting to create a new dialog. You should avoid any option that has propage in it. It is not a good feature for dialogues since they cause your dialogues to keep vanishing. And that is and why that is even an option, I don't know. I'll leave a link in the description to the MSDN thread where I learned that. There are two major aspects to your new dialog, the interface and the class. The interface is specified in your application's resource file that MFC apps use to keep track of non-code information like that. These files hold dialog layouts, toolbar layouts, string tables, and other stuff. When you create a dialog, you add its layout to the resource file and edit it using an editor. You'll also end up creating a new class that derives from either C Dialog or C Dialog X. These base classes have all the necess resources necessary to run a dialog window. Your dialog class will provide methods and attributes specific to its particular purpose. For this application, we will need attributes for shape, size, and possibly a second color. We also have getter methods that our document class can call once it's done with the dialog. There are two ways to run the dialog, create and do model. Do model will disable your main window until the dialog exits. Create will allow your main window to keep running. I have chosen to use do model. Now what we need to do is figure out how to set these values. We can set a combo box for the shape, number box for the size, and reuse the color dialog found in the previous video. We then add event handlers to these controls to set the dialog attributes and determine their authenticity or the values valid. I will briefly show you the methods of this new application. Now to run this application.